Hey guys, we're back. Wendy McCroskey with Group 4610 Keller Williams Realty here with Jason with Arizona Exterminating. I want to talk to you about everyone's favorite creatures, scorpions. This is close to uh, <laughs> close to my heart because I have found a couple of scorpions recently in our house, which we found very disturbing. And um, so I also was sharing with Jason an experience that I had with a client who on the seller's disclosure notice, the seller listed that they'd seen like two scorpions within the last like four years or something like that on the um, seller's disclosure. But when we went into the house, they had done a lot of treatment to the home. Grading, I don't know if that's the right word, but to keep them from getting into the air vents, you know, things like that. And it really freaked my buyer out. So I want to talk to you kind of about what, what does it mean? Like what, what do homeowners need to look for or home buyers need to look for when they're seeing scorpions and what do you guys kind of do to help them out? There's, um, I don't know if there's a, a way to really dis, you know, distinguish whether or not that home is going to have scorpions or not. I could tell you some of the areas or some of the conducive conditions for scorpions would be lots of palm trees, lots of river rock, uh, block walls, which every home has. Right. Pretty much being in Arizona makes you, uh, you know, susceptible to having scorpions. Right. Um, there's a lot of different ways to treat for scorpions. Um, we can try to exclude them out of the house by doing a black light treatment in the yard, inside of the attics, inside of the bedrooms to try to find as many as we can and to extract them from the home. Uh, you can do what's called a home seal, which is kind of what you were talking about with the grading of the air conditioning vents and and the, uh, the pipes that, that lead out of the house, gas pipes, things of that nature. Um, also sealing around the home to make sure that they don't enter back in. And then, of course, with the repetitive treatment to treat for them, there's a pretty good chance you can control the activity of scorpions in your home. Right. So is it true, or, or is it, I mean, maybe I made this up, but if you keep the smaller bugs out, the earwigs, the crickets, the roaches, or whatever, if you keep those smaller bugs and you keep your normal, you might be less likely because they're hunting for food, or are they just literally hunting for a cool spot when it's 120 out? I mean, it's, it's pretty much, um, you know, the circle of life. The way that, I mean, they do feed off of the smaller insects, so the more smaller insects you have, the more uh, probable it is to see scorpions. Uh, so any type of pest control uh, to be able to keep, you know, all of your general pests out will probably help you with your scorpions as well. They are attracted to the temperature of your home because your home is, is a nice temperature usually depending on what what um, season we're in. Hopefully it's nicer than outside. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, that's all they want. I mean, they're not humans, but they have human tendencies when it comes to the climate and, you know, what they want to be in. Right, right, exactly. Okay, perfect. Well, thank you guys so much for stopping by. Hopefully you don't have scorpions in your home, but if you do, give us a call and uh, Jason will take good care of you. If you know anybody looking to buy or sell a home, we'd absolutely love to help them as well. Give us a, um, a call, follow me on Facebook and Twitter for more videos on the real estate market or anything pertaining to homeowners or home buyers. Thanks and have a great day. Thanks so much, Jason. No problem, thank you.